You put in the wrong information here. How many years have you been here? When will you stop making careless mistakes? I apologize. My name is Shinya. I'm just an ordinary office worker. My boss Miyoko-san is strict only towards me, a reason unknown. I know other employees who make worse mistakes, but she never scolds them. She only picks on me. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Why is she so scary? Only towards me. My colleagues get paid the same, but I have to handle all her anger. I moved away from my hometown to work at a company in the city. I was a nobody back in my hometown. I thought things might change if I lived in the city, but I'm still a nobody. I changed my whole living environment, but nothing changed. My gosh. Well, the rent is expensive, so I can't use much of my money. I spend every day going back and forth from my apartment to the office. Hmm? I have a missed call. Oh, it's Mom! Hello? Hi, Shinya. How have you been doing? Uh, I'm okay. Good, I'm glad. You know, your invitation to your high school reunion came in the mail today. You haven't seen your friends in a while. Will you be going? At the reunion? I'll think about it. You might not get another chance to see your high school friends again for the rest of your life. I think you should attend. Mm, fine, I'll try to fit it into my schedule. And then I hung up the phone. A reunion, huh? It'd be nice to see some of my old classmates, but there are a few that I don't want to bump into. Nah, Mom is right about this. I might not get another chance to see them. Even if those jerks show up, I should enjoy it. And so, I decided to attend the reunion. The next day at work... Nice! You going back to your hometown? Yeah, I'm planning on checking out my high school reunion. Hmm? Well, I hope you have a great time! And don't forget to buy something for me over there! I'm not going back for vacation. Hmm. After work... Hey, Shinya. Uh, yes? So you're originally from Montenchi? Uh, who did you hear that from? I overheard you talking about it during the lunch break. You're spending the long weekend there? Uh, yes, th that's correct. Wow, I'm surprised. What a coincidence. Huh? I was born in Montenchi as well. Oh, what? You were? According to Miyoko-san, she was also planning to go back to Mentenchi for the long weekend to visit her relatives. Well, I'll be heading the same way, but I'm sure we won't be riding the same train. On my way home. Uh, what? Oh my, this is weird. Uh, so now I'm riding the train with my scary boss. I have no idea what to talk about with her. Hmm. I love watching the scenery change. Especially how the city disappears into nature. <laughs> I, I agree. It's difficult for me to read what's going through Miyoko-san's head. She's always yelling at me. I wonder if she's gonna yell at me on this train. Jeez, at least let me relax on my day off. Anyways, Shinya. Y yes I've noticed that you seem pretty tired these days. Have I been overworking you? Are you able to sleep? Uh, well, I sleep well at home. Really? And do you have an appetite? I'm starting to get worried about you. Y yes, I'm eating regularly. Thank you. What the? Why is she being so nice? I wonder if something good happened to her? We arrived at our hometown much earlier than I expected. Ah, uh, the air tastes so nice. Everything in the city is so polluted. I miss the fresh air in Montenchi. Yes, I finally feel like I've come home. Oh, excuse me for a second. I want something to drink. Do you want anything? Oh, uh, I'll be fine. Hey! Oh no, is it just me or do I see Shinya over there? Huh? I knew it, it's Shinya! Yo, it's been so long! Shinya? Wait, do you mean that loser loner Shinya? Gosh, you haven't changed. Ugh, you must be Kaita and Kana. I went to school with Kaita and Kana through middle and high school. Kaita is sarcastic and Kana used to be part of a gang. <laughs> do you remember? Shinya asked me out back in high school. You were stuttering like crazy. Ugh. <laughs> Don't bring back bitter memories for him. I'm sure he gave it his all, okay? I'm sorry it didn't turn out well for you, bud. I regret asking Connor out a lot. She told everybody in her class and they all made fun of me. Wait, let me ask. Shinya, I thought you lived in the city. Did I hear wrong? Oh, really? Well, if he's here now, he probably came back to attend a high school reunion. That's hilarious. Shinya, you're coming to the reunion? You had no friends back then. Who are you here to see? 
Oh my gosh. Maybe he hasn't given up on me. Haha, <laughs> how romantic. Too bad, though, Kara is already married. To me. See? Ugh. Oh, are you sad, Shinya? It's okay. Shinya, don't let this break your heart. No, I'm not. Why would I be sad about that? No way. His voice is trembling. He is so funny. I'm an idiot. I never should have come back. Why did I ignore the rest of bumping into these jerks? I started to regret my decision. Just then Miyoko-san came back. Hey, did you wait long? Huh? Oh, Miyoko-san. B -b Miyoko? I never imagined I would bump into you here, Keita. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, um, Miyoko-san, have you met Kaida before? Well, yeah. I mean, he's my little brother. Your little brother? M miyoko san Oh, Kana-chan, you're here too. Sweetie, you need to do something about the hair. You look stupid. I haven't seen you since the wedding. Oh, so you know Connor as well. But Miyoko-san, you and Kaida have different last names. Yeah, that's because our parents are divorced. I moved out with my father. Since our parents separated, our last names changed as well. Oh, I, I see. So, what were you and Kaita talking about? Uh, well, just small talk. Yeah, um, they were making fun of me for asking Connor out back in high school. And they told me I had no friends. Hi! Oh, I see. Kana-chan, you think it's okay to mess with Shinya because he gave you attention in high school? N no never I would never do anything like that. You should know your place. Shinya isn't somebody you should be messing with. Shinya is the most competent employee in the office. You'll probably get a promotion soon. What a, a promotion? Yes. Everything he does exceeds our expectations. Keita, you were jobless until recently. You lived off of your parents' money after high school. What can you expect from a guy like that? Shinya has a much more stable life and is reliable. But, but, hey, Miyoko! You'd have to compare us, you know? You reap what you sow. You started it by insulting Shinya. But! No buts. Keita, you've always been like this. You never take responsibility for your actions. It's always somebody else's fault. You even blamed society for the hardships thrown at you in life. So pathetic. Gosh, I'm so embarrassed to call you my brother. Ah, uh, Kakata, we're leaving! Huh? K Keita? Stop talking, let's go now! Well, wait a second! Keita! Uh, thank you for that, Miyoko-san. It's nothing. I was simply stating facts about my little brother. That's all. Still, thank you. It's okay. Well, you have the reunion tomorrow. I don't know what Kaita and Kana said to you, but you shouldn't mind them. Enjoy your time with your friends. I will. The next day, I went to the reunion and everybody talked about Miyoko-san and me. They all thought I was engaged to her. Plus, rumors about me being filthy rich had spread among them. Haha, <laughs> I think this story is being blown up. Anyways, where are Kaita and Kana? Oh, they told us they couldn't come because of a family gathering or something? Oh, I see. Why do I get the feeling that Miyoko-san took care of Kaida and Kana for me? You know, I doubt that would have come either way. I heard Kaita's family is in serious debt. What? Well, I heard their family is borrowing money from their relatives. Oh no. Does that mean Miyoko-san is paying back her relatives? After hearing about Miyoko-san's family, I couldn't stop thinking about her. The reunion was over by the time I realized. I was heading to the station to go back to the city. Hey, Miyoko-san! Oh, I didn't think I would bump into you again. Uh, um, I heard that your family is in debt. Huh? Shinya, how do you know about that? Well, my friends at the reunion talked about Kaida's family being in debt. I see. Yes, our family is in debt, but it has nothing to do with me. Kaita and Kana are idiots. My mom told me how they were causing so much trouble for the family. That's why I came back here, to talk some sense into them. Oh, I had no idea. Keita and Kana didn't attend the reunion because I didn't let them. They gave you so much crap, so I gave them plenty of other things to think about. You'll be the last thing on their minds for a while. <laughs> Hope we don't go too hard on them. I got to see my mother for the first time in a long time. 
All she did was ask me when I was getting married. Mothers tend to do that. Oh, I almost forgot. All my former classmates at the reunion were spreading rumors that you were my fiance. I'm a bit worried since rumors spread fast in small towns. I see. Well, I wouldn't mind that rumor spreading through the town. Huh? I've been looking for the right person for a while. Also... Uh, also? Oh, the train is here. Come on, let's go. Wait, Miyoko-san, what were you about to say? Do you want to know? Hmm, maybe later. Hey, Miyoko-san, wait for me! What did you think of today's episode? Please come back tomorrow for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.